Welcome back to the channel. It's a pleasure having you guys here. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the Bitcoin from different time frame. Let me rephrase that. We're going to be looking at the Bitcoin using multi-time frame analysis approach. This is very key for a lot of reasons, but one of the major reasons for me is that when you drop down in time frames, you would tend to get a smaller stop loss for the same take profit that you'll be taking on a higher time frame. As an example, we are here on the daily time frame. As you can see, this is the daily time frame for the Bitcoin, the father of all cryptos. But then assuming we drop down to the one hour time frame, as an example, we drop down to one hour time frame, and then we get an entry here, we will have a much smaller stop loss for that massive take profit on the daily time frame. So this is just one major advantage that I try to take, you know, uh, try to benefit from when it comes to multi time frame analysis approach. So with this daily Bitcoin that we have in front of us, we have already mapped out this area, area, area of interest in our art, area of interest reaction and then trigger we have here as a supply this is supply zone here and then price pulled back to this area of supply we also have here as i'll call this you know the, this is actually the highs of about 74k on the btc this is about 74k there about but then i'll call this uh a potential double top so assuming this doesn't work out and then it pushes higher, then I'll be looking at this as a double top. But based on where price is now currently, <clears throat> you can see we had a massive candle to the upside, which was from yesterday, uh, the 20th of May. And then today we have this small candle. But what is happening inside this candle? And that's why we are looking at this from the multi time frame analysis approach. Now let's drop down in time frame. By the time we drop down, probably to the next lower time frame of four hours, we start to see things a bit better. Things start to get clearer. What do I mean? This candle here on the four hours candle, if you look at it, what does it look like? If you are not aware, this particular candle we're talking about looks pretty much like a spinning top. Some could argue that it looks like a doji. Well, you could say a doji as well or spinning top because of the real body that we have over here. But then this candle could easily mean a sort of indecision. As I said, it looks like a doji as well. Indecision with respect to the bulls and the bears, the buyers and the sellers. <clears throat> and you can see that price has been pushing higher and higher for a while. So when price pushes higher in that manner, it needs to rest. It needs to rest. And that's why if you look at the next lower time frame, which is the one hour, you see something a bit clearer. You see this massive uptrend over here. In this massive uptrend, if you're looking forward to selling in this area, this is that same area that we're looking at for the daily candle that is forming now, and then that four hours doji or spinning top candle. Looking at it from the hourly time frame perspective now, you see this particular candle, this one here. What does this candle look like? It looks like what? It looks like a bearish pin bar also known as the bearish hammer now what does this candle signify it signifies selling time to sell and as much as this trend is an uptrend and you want to sell here remember because of the daily right the d1 analysis that we looked at the d1 supply this is the d1 supply zone over here still here in green so now you drop down in time frames up to one hour and then we've seen like a discounted entry don't forget we said the for me, the biggest advantage of dropping down with time frames, multi time frame analysis approach is that you tend to get smaller stop loss for a much bigger take profit. So you could have like one to five reward or one to ten reward, if not even more. So this candle here, bearish pain, but it's still very much there. So someone could enter here to sell. Stop loss is just above here. And your take profit could be all the way to this lows, about 61K. Now, as you're looking forward to an entry here as a CT trade on this one hour time frame, CT means counter trend trade. 
we can always look for confluence. Over here, you should have a form of divergence. If you use, as an example, you use the RSI. If you are uh, familiar with the RSI or the MACD, you can slap them on your chat. And I'm sure you see that form of divergence over here. We have your divergence. Look at this. At the supply zone for the daily time frame, you have your bearish what? Your bearish pin bar, also known as the bearish hammer. You have your divergence telling you that price is lying as it's pushing higher, and then the RSI should be pushing lower in this manner. So this is a good reason to pull the trigger on this Bitcoin uh, 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 cryptocurrency. Now, don't forget, you must always, always ensure that your risk management is good to go. Meaning that your volume, your lot size that you're going to be using is in right proportion based on your account balance. And that could be 1%, could be 2%, well, for some traders, it could even be 0.5%, depending on your account balance. Because I'm sure once your account balance starts to grow, you would like to lower your risk, your exposure in every trade. And then there's something I normally use personally. And then I say advisable, you could have bullets, meaning that you place this trade now and let's assume it doesn't move according to plan and it pushes higher, it knocks out your stop loss. If that is the case, that is one bullet in that day. And then you have maybe two bullets. I like using two bullets. And then you place a second trade. Maybe after this one gets knocked out, you have the same scenario with another pin bar here, higher. You place this trade, it gets knocked out. Then I would leave it for that particular day. That is just what I normally do. So you could call this your first bullet. Stop loss is a ball over here. And then you wait and see what happens. Now, based on this divergence, here is a mini area of interest. So if the price should pull back to about 7K or 70K over here, then you could decide to do something. You could decide to reduce your stop loss by half. This is just a trade management technique that I like to use. The stop loss from here, you can reduce it by half. So you are you know, reducing your exposure, your risk at the end of the day. Or you could decide to leave it here and then close part of that your position that is open, partial close. Or you can start to do a trailing stop or whatever the case might be. Now, if this is taken out as well, where is the next level that it will be going to? Most likely, it will be going to this area over here, as you can see. Now, per adventure, we happen to get to like this 68, or rather 68K, 67K or whatever, then you know that you have made more profit and it's a thing of trade management that remains. Obviously, you can move your stop loss to break even. So even if it's pulled back, you more or less have protected yourself where it is more or less a zero uh, uh, risk-free, let's call it risk-free trade. Risk-free trade in the sense that you move to break even or you even lock in some profit and then it turns around against you to so just knock you off for maybe plus five profits or whatever you set it as. But in most continuously in your favor, you can do partial close, you can do trailing stop. Make sure that your trade management technique is on point. So based on this D1 supply zone that we talked about earlier, where we said we are looking at the Bitcoin for today based on the multi time frame analysis approach, this is what we are looking at now. Don't forget your two bullets, right? I like to use two bullets. Because one bullet might not be enough. One bullet, it might knock you out. And then you have one more opportunity, but you don't take it. And it's that particular opportunity that comes and then does a down move like this. And then you have yourself to blame. Of course, experience, they say, is the best teacher. So I prefer two bullets. Well, it's up to you. You can decide to use a third bullet. It's up to you. But then we've talked about this Bitcoin at length. And I want us to wrap up this video now. And of course, if you have any question, please feel free to ask. Don't forget, once again, I keep on repeating this because trust me, this listen to this carefully. This is for me the ultimate way to trade. When you can easily turn like a scalp or easily turn a lower time frame trade into a higher time frame profit. Mean that you take a trade on a lower time frame, which gives you a smaller stop loss, or you cash out on a higher time frame, which gives you a big
bigger amount of pips at the end of the day. That is the ultimate trader. So if you can turn a scalp into a swing position trade, trust me. Trust me, you are good to go. Nobody will tell you would even know. Because if you have five losses, right, it simply means that one winner can easily take care of all these losses. Let me even say this. If you have 10 losses, it's very possible that one winner can take care of those 10 losses. But this is going to build tremendous, what is going to build tremendous confidence in yourself as a trader. That's why your risk to reward ratio, I tell traders, is more or less the last piece of the puzzle. Right. Once you can work on this, you are good to go. It's going to remove that aspect of fear. It's going to remove that aspect of of you, you know, being scared whenever you have a losing trade or whatever the case might be. So I want to say thank you guys for joining us. If you are a Bitcoin trader, take advantage of this. And if you are not a Bitcoin trader, this same analysis it works for any instrument. It works for gold, the gold metal. It works for uh, the currencies, the fiber, euro, USD, cable, GBP, USD, just name it. Even if you are trading the DAX, S&P 500, whatever you are trading, trust me, this analysis works across board, right? And that's why it is financial trading at the end of the day. Okay, guys, it has indeed been a pleasure. If you are joining us for the first time or you are new here, hit the subscribe button. And if you don't hit the subscribe button, no problem whatsoever. I'll continue to drop this. I believe they are bangers. I believe they are good information for people to benefit from. And if they are not, you don't need to watch it up to this point. So if you want, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and of course also give the video a thumbs up. And if, if you feel you can give the video two thumbs up, whatever the case may be, just show some appreciation. Thank you guys. And I want to say, Catch you in the next video. Cheers. Have a good one.